Hello everybody. Now what I want to talk about today is my Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. This is my tablet right here. I bought it for personal use, but I actually use it for work a lot too. Now the reason I bought it is because I'm disabled and I'm a bit clumsy and I drop things sometimes. And when I do, you know, if this was something like, I don't know, perhaps an iPad, I would have had it destroyed by now. But seeing how this is an Amazon Fire HD 10, it's pretty much bulletproof. Now that I have your attention, check this out. I'm doing this video for a couple of different reasons. First of all, this thing, I paid, I think $125 for it back in May. It is now getting really close to Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Right now, today, I think it's $99 on Amazon. I suspect it will be even lower once Black Friday and Cyber Monday kick in. So pay attention, see what happens. This thing is an Amazon tablet, it's not an Android, but it's very easily converted to an Android tablet with the Google Play Store. There's a way to load Google Play Store onto this tablet. If you want to know how to do that, check the video description. There's a link down there. It's a process. I think it's like four different things you have to download and voila, you have the Google Play Store and you can use it as an Android tablet. I bought this case for it too, which I thought was really nice. It was $11 and it allows me to prop it up now forgive me I'm a disabled guy but it's very easy to you know prop up and use 11 bucks so all together you know right now as it sits I think I had 136 bucks into it the other thing is it only has like a 32 gigabyte memory inside of it but you can expand it with an SD card now I bought a 256 gigabyte micro SD card it's a class 10 for like 20 bucks. I can't even find any reference to this thing anymore. It was so crappy, I guess they don't even sell it anymore or make it. And I'm having some problems with it, but I'm suspecting that if I go with an even better SD card, those problems will go away. Let me show you some of the problems that you might run into with a budget SD card. So I'm not a computer guy or a tablet guy or a micro SD card guy. I'm just an end user like a lot of you probably are. But I'm also a DJ and I use this tablet now as backup for my mobile DJ business. Works pretty well with a program like DJ from Algorithm. The problem I'm running into is that it takes so long to load files from a computer via USB 3 onto the micro SD card. And if I try to load a file bigger than say two gigabytes, I get error messages. Now, how long am I talking about? I tried to load a group of files that was one gigabyte and it took about eight minutes. And then when you open up a program like DJ and try to access files right away, you can't do it. It says the card's empty or there's nothing there. It takes several minutes for the tablet and the program to access files from this micro SD card because the read time is so slow on it. Now I have no idea what the read speed and write speed were on this old junky card. I can't even find any reference to it anymore on the internet. It's gone. But I know it's slow, so I picked up this right here. This is a SanDisk Extreme Plus. It was supposed to be $259, but it was on sale for $29. Now it's only 128 gigs, so it's half the capacity of the old card I had. But the speeds are impressive. We're looking at 170 read and 90 write. That's the estimated or probably top. Whether you realize that or not, I'm sure is dependent on what you're using for equipment, but it's pretty good. It also says A2 here, which has something to do with speed. So we're gonna try that and see if it improves. So on this test, it improved a lot. It looks like you're looking at a minute per gigabyte to load files from your laptop via USB to the SD card on your Amazon Fire HD. Now I suspect that what's happening is we're being limited on that speed because of the Amazon tablet. Maybe if we went ahead and used the SD card adapter and plug the micro SD card into it and plug that into the computer, it would write a lot faster. And boy does it. If you want to load files onto a micro SD card, this is the way to do it. It's so much faster than trying to do it via the USB 3 cable. So now let's go ahead and see how quickly that the program can read the files. 
and it's instantaneous. They're there, so write speed makes a difference. Not only the read speed, but the write speed, especially if you're trying to transfer a lot of files. Even if you're not a DJ and you're doing movies or photos or whatever, you don't want to wait forever for this to happen. You want to happen in a reasonable amount of time, especially if you're dealing with large capacity cards. So yeah, I highly recommend that if you're going to go this route, go ahead and step up and pick up something with a good read speed and a good write speed. And Cyber Monday and Black Friday are coming up really soon. You're going to find some great deals on this stuff. I hope this helps somebody. Read speed and write speed make a huge difference when you're trying to expand your memory on one of these little fire tablets. So anyway, quick video for you. I hope it helps somebody. Thanks to you for watching and be sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that kind of stuff. If you're already subscribed, ring that bell. That will give you the notifications when another video pops up on my channel. Thanks for watching, practice, and enjoy.